The Knights stayed hard at work this weekend. Wartburg men's soccer team fell to Luther in overtime 2-1 on Saturday in the first round of Iowa Conference tournament play. Wartburg came into the Iowa Conference tournament as the sixth seed, taking on third-seeded Luther. The Norse got on the board in the first period with one goal to put them up 1-0. Sophomore Sammy Jung from Wartburg scored in the second to send the 1-1 match to overtime. Luther got the first penalty kick, advancing to the second round of tournament play. The Warburg women's soccer team won in a 4-3 shootout over Coe on Saturday to advance to the second round of Iowa Conference play. The teams were scoreless through two overtimes and the game went to penalty kicks. Coe made three of their PK attempts, but junior Beth Crow from Warburg saved their other four. The black and orange found the back of the net four out of seven times, giving the Knights the 4-3 shootout victory. Warburg will play in Dubuque tomorrow at 5 p.m. against Loris. The winner of that match will advance to the Iowa Conference championship game on Saturday. Wartburg took down number 18 Northwestern St. Paul 3-1 on Saturday. The Knights snapped the Eagles' 14-match winning streak, and UNW was also the number one ranked team in the region, while Wartburg was number six. Wartburg's Aaron Jones led the team with 17 kills. The Knights will play in the Iowa Conference Tournament on Friday, November 4th at the U.S. Cellular Center in Cedar Rapids. Wartburg will face the winner of the Central and Nebraska Wesleyan game. And the Wartburg football team defeated the University of Dubuque 43-35 on Saturday. The Spartans were the first team on the board with their score, with 8.51 left in the first, but the Knights answered back two drives later to knock the game at 7-all. Dubuque led 28-27 later in the third quarter until the Orange and Black scored 16 straight points to regain the lead, which they never relinquished. Warburg will play Luther and Waverly at 1 p.m. on Saturday. When we come back, we'll take a look at what's trending in the Cedar Valley.